this is a another little movie just taking you through how to do a color threshold or how to handle a color image inside Image Pro Plus. Uh, there are a number of ways of handling a color threshold. The first of which is to use an eyedropper. So inside count size, instead of select ranges, you now select colors and you have an eyedropper. And you'll see wherever you put your cursor will go the color of the cursor. So effectively you're making a selection. So if I left click, that's my selection. Now I've got all of those types of purples, plus or minus, sort of 5% in each direction, so I get a range. If I do it again, I can go around the image and I can slowly go and fill in all this information. And don't worry too much about little holes, like up here, because we can get those out by doing a fill holes. Let me just put that on filled and we should see there are all of my objects. Okay, That's pretty straightforward and we treat this in exactly the same way as before with our watershed splits and everything else that we want to do. However, images do get a little bit tricky in colour and some people don't want to don't want to operate um, in this colour with the eyedropper mode. You can use a histogram based method to make your selections changing the amount of red, green and blue you want to look at each time. However, that's a bit pointless as well. One of the easiest ways to mass process color images is to actually split them into their color channels. So if we get a process and color channel, I can actually separate this image into the three images that made it up, the red, green, and blue that made up this image. So let's just have a look. I'm just going to zoom them all out and tile them. Okay. So what you can see actually is we have the color image here. And my aim at the end of this is to get a black and white image that's capable of being thresholded very easily. So I can use uh, the blue image first of all. If I look at the blue image, it actually looks quite washed out. There isn't too much uh, grayscale difference, it's too light and the background's quite light. The green image as well, I've got a dark background and dark objects. But in this case, what you find is the red objects, the red image itself is really nice. I've got very dark objects where the purples exist and very light objects where the pinks exist and the white exists. So I'm going to use my red image. Okay. And now, with this image, it's very straightforward. You can see on a histogram, just to do a regular count size, just as I was doing with the spots image earlier, and operate in exactly the same way. So that's a very easy way to do a quick uh, count size uh, on a color object. Um, you can obviously uh, pick multiple colors, so you might want to look at brown and blue staining. Um, in this case, what I'm going to probably look at is what is the amount of staining versus the amount of background. So all I've got now is my histogram, and I'm going to truly defer. That's exactly, I'm going to say, 1, 0 to 182 are my objects, and I want to know what the background is. So I press New. Okay, now that's truly the background, but I've got a little bit of white in there. So this is non-stain. So the yellow is stain of one type, the green is stain of the other type. So I'm just going to look at those two. Now, you can see, fill holes is on, so I get a giant mess. Because I can't count things inside other things with filled holes on. Okay, and now under view, range statistics, I can look at the percentage area. So I can quickly tell you between the two stains on my slide here, I've got 27% or 72%. And it's exactly the same for an industrial measurement in something like cast iron. Here I would say, let's look at the percentage range of the first phase, new, and then the second phase, and the final phase, count. Oh, I've got too many too many greens, so I'll make that one red. And I can just say view range statistics, and there we have three percent is the green or original black phase, uh, thirty one percent is the uh, the other phase in here, and then we have the white phase as well. So let me just press count again. So the major phase is actually well, I should just do the double click underneath and have a look. It's actually the white phase. And then the yellow phase is actually the grey phase. 
Okay, I hope that helps. If you need any more help, please contact Tech Support or contact your local Image Pro dealer. Thanks.